not read a book. Um, my, one of my favorite books of all time is called Thank You Economy by Gary Vaynerchuk. V-A-N, let me put him in the uh, chat box here for you guys. Uh, thank you. You got to read this book. It's very short. He's the F bomb king. <laughs> I'm so. Oh, he's the F bomb king. He is, but not in his book that much. He's. Um, if you if you go uh, if you watch him on YouTube, make sure the kids are not or people who are language sensitive are not in the room. There it is. It's in the uh, text area. I just put it in there. Gary Vaynerchuk believes that if people are going to be on Instagram, on TikTok, and that's your following, or Facebook or Twitter, if that's the people who are your prospects, buyers, sellers, investors, most of you are in real estate, but there's some of you in other areas. Who is your in, who is your customer, and where do they go during the day? Do they go to YouTube? Do they go to do they go to TikTok? Where do they go? And do you have content out there? And do you have a what they call a call to action? Okay, you're a total stranger. Okay, so you've got to give them consistent content, and give them something, and give them an incentive, something for free, a free book, or uh, a free mind map, so free 15 minute consultation. The secret of my success. You guys got your pencils ready? Someone read my mind. What am I going to say? What am I going to say? The secret of my success. I guarantee here. Okay. This is recorded. I guarantee right now that if you do this one thing every day, you will make money. You will be successful. What, it, what, it, what is it, Philip? Um, I answer my own phone. Talk, talk to five people. Talk to five, five people a day. Everybody, five, everybody put five, five fingers a up. We've five already. a day. That's yeah, all. Sorry. Talk to people. So you've got, and when you talk to people, you want to have quality leads. You don't want garbage leads all day long, do you? We've all done that, right? Have we all wasted 45 to 60 minutes of our life talking to someone, answering 21 questions? Have we all done this? Mm-hmm. Don't make any, we, I am, I'm, okay. guilty. I'm guilty of it. I did that to my mechanic. He said, no, you got to pay me because I'm doing too much for you and I'm not getting paid for it. He's a smart mechanic. <laughs> He's a very smart mechanic. Nehemiah, did I go over the top on that question? I'm no, sorry. no, no, I know, no, you didn't. But uh, I'm, I'm glad that you went into it because the thank you economy, I've, I'll, you know, I was listening to the audio book last night. I didn't make it all the way through. But if you can, just give me the cliff notes on, you know, what did you gather from the thank you economy book that actually helped you? And, you know, another good question. You're 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 getting a st- you're getting a gold star today. That's a good. What did I take? <laughs> What did I take away from that book? So you want the Claude notes or Cliff yes, notes? Yes, the Claude, call. the Claude notes. With does anybody remember? I got through. I got through college with Cliff notes. Thank God. Do you remember? Does anyone remember them? Do they still make them? Yes. Yep. There's you know, a website. You know, when you wanted to go out Saturday night, but you were supposed to read uh, the 800 pages of War and Peace, mm, and exactly. you got the, and you got the 21 page Cliff notes on War and Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Russian Revolution finds a girl, falls in love with girl, disappears. And, yeah, that's it, you know. Um, right. The question is, what is what's the takeaway from Thank You Economy? Um, to be in one sentence, to be grateful for a good quality prospect. To be grateful. What is one good prospect who you do a real estate deal or sell any of your products or services to? What is one prospect worth to you? And <laughs> Yeah. How much money, if everybody here was on truth serum and I'll, I'll buy everybody a martini here, my little gray goose bottle for emergencies. Um, if everybody here said how much money they spent in the last 12 months on marketing, would we, would that be an enormous amount of money? Yes. Yeah. 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 And if we divided that money by the deals we did, by the prospects we accumulated mm-hmm. with would that be a little scary, uh, scary, Captain Novak? I don't think did she you? heard me. I don't think she heard you. Either. Oh, oh, there she no, is. I, I, I did hear you. Yeah. I okay. Was for the little thing to, um, to speak. Yeah. Would if if you thought about all the money you spent on mm-hmm. marketing and you divided <laughs> it by the qual of the few quality prospects you got, how how much money you think that would be per person? A, a lot. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. So if we can lower our expenses and get quality prospects 
through attraction marketing or any kind of marketing, as long as we get money's worth. So if we spend, if a prospect is worth, let's say 50 to a hundred dollars, all the money, all the time, everything we put in and there were that one prospect is worth 50 to a hundred dollars. How valuable, how grateful should we be for that prospect? What kind of value That's should true. we put on them? Yeah, extremely. I, I can say from personal experience, and I was I haven't even been posting videos, just posting on social media. I've gotten a lot of people and friends that have reached out to me for traditional sale. And I've had a couple that have reached out to me for the investing side. Excellent. That one, it seems like um, they're going to be, it's something that I've been working on for a couple of months. And it seems like they're going to be ready to sell their home in November. There and this go. is from just posting on social media. Yeah. This is uh, no videos. Yeah. So uh, I know that videos would be even 10 times better. Well, posting is good. Podcast is good, by the way. I'm on a lot of podcasts, other people's podcasts who have hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of followers and subscribers. I'm interviewed. If I go, I'll just send out a. Uh, an email. You, it's really easy to go online, find all these real estate podcasts and go online. And um, I, I'll do a little simple interview for 20, 30, 60 minutes. And I'll tell you what, all of a sudden on my web page, I've got a uh, hundred new people who have subscribed online on my web page. I've captured their email address. And those people I can send something to, eventually they'll follow me on my social media, or I'll, they'll contact me directly. What I'm working for is to break down the barriers, to gain trust, okay, uh, with content, so that eventually we, we get to, you, you guys remember this thing, this device? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I still have a landline here. I have VOIP. I have everything here. I, if I can talk to just a few people, and if the phones are quiet, it's cricket time, I'll go back into my, old, my database, my Evernote, and call, find people who I contacted 30, 60, 90 days before. Somebody wants to do business today. Somebody wants to give me a property, give me a contract, do, be a tenant buyer, an assignee. Somebody's ready to do business today. And I don't care if it's, we talked a little bit last week. I